Yes, and that's correct. When you use a single cloud, you're able to take advantage of single development tools, build tools, management, governance, network and security, et cetera, et cetera. But when you move to multiple clouds, now you can create these silos with these tools and your operational model because they're different for each of them. <clears throat> right, and this is exactly what leads to this sort of cloud chaos. Now, some folks might say, hey, wait a sec, well, why can't I just have a single cloud, right? right. This kind of right. perfect nirvana world. But the reality is that that's just not what we see. We see acquisitions happening, lines of business going off and doing their own thing, technology landscapes changing, best of breed technology changing, and inevitably, folks end up with multiple clouds, and thus with this situation. And what we realize is that it's fundamentally an architecture issue that we need to move away from relying solely on single cloud services and embracing what we call cross-cloud services. So cross-cloud services means that we move those capabilities up. So now we can have the same network and security and solution, for example, across multiple clouds, including private and edge. Right. And so this is exactly what we're doing here at VMware. Our cross-cloud services portfolio, as Raghu mentioned, has a bunch of really powerful capabilities that span the life cycle application, or the life cycle of an, of an application, <clears throat> going from creation to deploy to operations to securing it to accessing it, right? But doing so in a cross-cloud architecture. And by embracing these technologies, we can get you to cloud smart. 